Verge. Verge finally became... Well, it wasn't that... Summer, was it? Summer? They became compliant. They became ISO 20022 compliant. This is the global standard that everyone has to meet uh, by the end of 2024 or the midway through 2025. Cannot remember. Um, and the reason that this is important is fundamentally every global financial institution worldwide has to do this. It means that Virgin Theory can be accepted as payment uh, as a payment solution, but Virgin Theory can uh, launch a CBDC. So we'll take a look at what Virgin can hit in the next in the next bull cycle. Uh, before I get into that, though, guys, um, if you are new to the site, new to the channel, rather, uh, these are the first twenty six coins that I bought when I made the channel. I actually showed people, myself buying these uh, to everyone. Because I expect these to absolutely rocket up in price, and you can see, guys, what these coins were worth when I recorded the videos, as well as the highs these coins hit a little less than um, 18 months on, and what the profit would have been if you'd have thrown 100 into each one. And if you had just thrown 100 into every single one of these coins, uh, and then uh, sat on them for 16, 17 months, and then sold them. Your profit from 100 into each would have been over 123 grand, which is obviously not too bad. Now, uh, I actually sold all of these. Uh, then we had the market crash, and since the market crash, I've been buying up new coins. These are all coins that I think can uh, do the gains that I was speaking about with many of these. These are coins that I think 40x, 50x, 100x. These uh, coins I share on my website, which is copymycrypto.com. So anytime I find a coin that I think can do that kind of crazy run, I get in on it. And I'll jump onto the site, I'll tell the members what the coin is, what kinds of profits it can have and what percentage of my money I'm putting in. This means that the members can copy along exactly to my portfolio. They don't have to think at all. They'll make the exact same profits I do, but they, and the benefit is they don't have to do any work at all. They don't have to read about white papers. They don't have to learn about new technologies. They can literally just copy along to my portfolio, remove all work, and make massive profits. And if that sounds good to you, just go on to copymycrypto.com now and check out the site. On the site, you'll see the things I've seen in the past and what happened. You'll see what the members have earned. Everything there is public records, so verify it all. And guys, if you like what you see, you should join me there. Uh, start making profits and stop doing any work. Now, let's talk Verge. So, uh, Verge um, is a privacy-based crypto. Uh, now, Verge is an old crypto as well. It's been around for ages. You know, it launched in, hell, in 2015. It was knocking about. Uh, had a really strong first bull cycle. Run all the way up to like 22 cents. It was one of the biggest gamers. Um, and 2021, it did not have that anywhere close to the run that it did in 2017. And it's worth noting, look, uh, first of all, Verge is a privacy coin, uh, so they offer the sort of fast, efficient um, payments network that improves on sort of the Bitcoin blockchain because it has the additional features of privacy. So it uh, has integrated the anonymity network Tor into its wallet called Verge Pay and uh, providing the option of sending uh, transactions to stealth addresses. As a community-driven project, it relies on volunteers and prides itself on being open source. It was actually launched in 2014 as Dogecoin Dark, which was a fork of uh, Peercoin, and then it renamed itself to Verge in 2016 in order to rebrand for easier mass market adoption and distinguish itself from Doge. Um, now, the project is uh, based on the Bitcoin source code. The founders are uh, Justin Velo, who is also known as Justin Vendetta, or Suno, uh, a developer with over 20 years experience in network security and a de decade plus in uh, tech and uh, blockchain tech. Now, he developed the first crypto as, uh, as a fun passion project to empower individuals around the world with a greater sense of privacy. He stated that he'd been in programming school, uh, programming, sorry, since the age of eight uh, and became involved in network admin after high school, working for a Fortune 500 company. 
then a few, after a few years, he decided to start his own network security company. He became interested in Bitcoin in 2011, uh, getting involved with Dogecoin after its 2013 launch. And then he began working on Verge because he believed that none of the altcoins uh, being developed at the time uh, were adequately functional as digital currencies. And that the only serious privacy coin projects, Bitcoin and Monero, were not sufficient. He's also been appointed the advisory board of Token Pay, which is privacy focused crypto. Now, according to their black paper, Verge was created as a way to fulfill Bitcoin founder Satoshi Nakamoto's vision of a decentralized, uh, trustless payment system. And that's what Verge really can be. It, it, you know, it is in theory. It, you know, they have a very clear set of privacy features um, which distinguishes itself from a ton of different projects out there. Um, very, very recently, uh, they actually became uh, ISO 20022 compliant. So Verge unveiled a, a huge milestone set on June 5th saying that it's now fully compliant. This development marks a turning point for Verge, uh, position ex positioning its digital currency to gain a competitive advantage uh, and accelerate the adoption of Verge. Um, the achievement is groundbreaking within the crypto realm and the broader landscape of digital currency. It solidifies Verge's position as the ninth crypto to adopt the, uh, the required standard. However, what sets Verge apart is that it stands as the pioneering decentralized Internet of Things community run currency to achieve. It's like the first one to do it. Um, it's the first community run one to do it. Uh, collaborative efforts with partners Voice Life and Block Dudes played a pivotal role in this accomplishment. Voice Life's involvement introduced a novel concept, uh, which was the distribution of passive income for fractional NFTs, uh, NFT holders through the Verge coin, and Block Dudes has been the driving force behind the meticulous implementation process. Uh, the milestone comes on the heels as Ver of Verge's uh, recent distinction as not being categorized as a security. So that was a big, big step in the right direction. You know, by not being categorized as a security, it means that they are away from the potential lawsuits, the potential price suppression that the SEC has caused for so many cryptos over the past sort of decade. Well, certainly over the last four years or so. Um, and they're trying to be resolute in Nakamoto's vision. Um, and again, the fact that they are de declared as not security is a huge, huge deal. The only issue for me with regards to Verge that could be, in theory, problematic is the privacy aspect. Privacy aspect has been uh, noticeably um, opposed by governments. And, you know, that's not a shock. Governments spy. That's not news. The Snowden revelations were pretty massive back in the day. Um, WikiLeaks. Uh, so we know they they uh, they spy. The key thing that governments are doing at present uh, is fear mongering about privacy. Privacy coins allow for money laundering. Privacy coins allow for funding of terrorism. Um, and so do banks. Are you going to close all the banks? Banks arguably have that more. It's bollocks. And it's a fear-mongering thing. But the problem is, is governments can literally force exchanges to delist uh, privacy coins if they want to operate in the district. They've tried doing that. They've done that successfully. You know, the EU in particular has been quite successful in doing this. The only one that they're currently kind of in a battle with is Binance at the moment. Um, and look, if volume leaves privacy coins, there is an issue there in terms of price. I think Verge are probably better positioned than a number of the other privacy coins for the reason that Verge have um, the benefit of the fact that they have been declared not to be a uh, security. They have also become globally compliant with the, uh, the payments and communications standard. So they're ahead of probably all the other privacy coins in that regard, because why would you delist something that is globally compliant? It's kind of, so I think Verge are okay in that ground. I don't think they're, I don't think they run the same risk of delisting as say a Monero would. 
Um, I, you know what, I, th I think Verge, the, pr the, the big issue I have with Verge, I suppose, in terms of price, is look, it's in a long-term downtrend, quite a significant one. Um, I still think this will hit a decent price. I think this will hit five cents. I don't, I just think that downtrend is, is present. I think five cents is a fair target. I think five cents makes sense. Uh, it means it's not breaking its high of 2021. And if it is in that downtrend, it shouldn't break that high. Um, and look, even if it hits five cents, I mean, what are we talking about here? We're talking about um, at least a market cap of sort of 800 million. Um, in theory, you know, a globally com hitting the global globally compliant standards. Um, landing on pretty much every exchange. I think the only one that's not on is Coinbase. Um, I, I look at this and I think this should hit five cents at least. Maybe it hits more. Maybe it breaks the 2021 high, but doesn't come close to this one. That could happen. Um, but like I said, I mean, Verge is everywhere. If you're going to get it, by the way, I get it. At, uh, BitGet, BitGet is the uh, is the exchange I'm partnered with. There's actually a part link in the description. It will give you discounts on trading fees. If you don't have a BitGet account, you can get one, and you can get up to a grand in terms of um, rewards for being a new sign up. Uh, and with the trading fee discount, you'll earn more crypto as you go along. Um, so use that link in the description. Uh, but at least five cents, I think, is fair. That's still, you know, what, 12x, 14x from where it is right now. Um, I think that's very achievable. I just think we're going to struggle to see um, new highs because it's in the downtrend. I also think we're going to struggle to see new highs for a lot of privacy coins in general because I think that suppression from governments is coming. I think I'm surprised it's taken as long as it has, but governments are notoriously slow moving. Um, so, but the EU are putting pressure on. If America added to that, it would be, you know, it, it would be like a knockout punch for the privacy coins. So America is like the real last foothold, stronghold for, for ensuring privacy. And you know what? I, I, I have pretty positive hopes for privacy coins in that regard because I think America really do stand for um, their rights properly with the Constitution so I think I'd be surprised to see an American government doing it but if American governments do start trying to get rid of privacy coins they're going to be dead in the water pretty fast but I think Verge more safer than most in, uh, in the privacy realm but yeah five cents just can't see much more again would a business want it? It's a fluctuating asset. That's a big problem. If you're a business, you don't want a fluctuating asset, not unless it's, say, Bitcoin or Ethereum. You just can't see them taking other fluctuating assets. So unless Verge implement you know, a, a stable coin on top of their, uh, their network, I just don't really see it. Uh, so I'd say five cents, but what do you guys think? Do you think this can do six cents, seven cents, 10 cents, a dollar? What do you think? Let me know in the comments uh, down below, guys. Um, and look, if you just want to make the exact same profits as me in the next bull cycle, you can do. Just go over to the site I run, which is copymycrypto.com. Anytime I find a coin that I think can 40x, 50x, or 100x, I buy it. And what that means is I will jump onto my website and I will tell my members what the coin is that I'm going to buy, what kinds of profits I think it can have, what percentage of my money I'm putting in. It means the members can copy along exactly, make the exact same profits I do. Added bonus, they don't have to do any work because I'm diving into the markets all the time. So they don't have to read white papers, learn about the technologies, any of that. They can just see exactly what I'm doing and copy along. Not even have to think. And if that sounds good to you, like I say, pause this vid or you know when this vid ends, go to the description, click on the link to copymycrypto.com and just take a look through the site. You'll see what I've said in the past and what happened, whether that was trying to encourage people to leave a DeFi protocol that I knew was terrible, uh, that inevitably lost about half a billion dollars, whether that was talking about Phantom and why and the many reasons it would 100x or more when no one on the planet was talking about Phantom. 
or whether it's just that you want to see what the members have earned. It's all there. It's all public record. But, so read through it all. Watch the vids. If you like what you see, guys, join me there. Start making the same profits as me and do no work. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.